So I promised you I would finish this um, packing film, so I'm going to take you through now. I've got all the order up here, and I've got all my clothes on the rail that I'm gonna take. I've got a few dresses hanging behind that are for the main event, so let me just show you where I'm at. So, this is hair stuff there. That's my jewelry, handbags, chocolate, very important. Hangers really important because I'm going to a house and they might not have enough hangers. Shoes, I've got too many trainery things. I've got those white ones, some really flat ones, the sandals for the main event, a higher shoe for the evening. So I've got two shoes for the evening. I've got those as well because they're comfy slip-ons. Trainers because I want to go for a walk and my French Connections, which I wear with a lot of long dresses. So I just feel I want to take them with me. I've got two hats, can't decide between the one to each two. Then I've got in here all my t-shirts, um, 90s um, uh, and wraps for the pool. Here I've got bikinis and swimwear. These are really good Muji uh, zip bags. They come in small, medium and large and I you always use them for packing because when you go somewhere, you just lift it out your suitcase and you can unpack really quickly. Then I've got my whole makeup kit here because I want to be able to be able to do people's makeups when I'm on the trip. So I've got every single, every single, just out of interest, every single Trini London product is in there and fits in there, just out of interest. Um, then I've got my cosmetics that I really don't want to lose. So these I will put in that little small suitcase and carry it on the plane with me, as opposed to the big one in the hold. Certain things that I'm really scared of losing, I take in um, hand luggage. Then I went, I mean, this is so anal. I've named them, these bags. But these Trini London bags are so good for traveling. Can't say enough how good they are. And they just fit a lot on, so, a lot on, a lot in. So I've got my hair stuff here, all the hair things I went through in the live this morning. I've got all my sun stuff there. I've got my body stuff there. I've got my electronics here. I've got tons of electronic things because I need to do filming for the wedding, etc., etc. and I just want to have everything with me. I've got um, medical supplies in here, including liquid vitamins. Um, that's cotton wool pads, that's really being anal. Um, and then my vitamins there. That's tr real Trini London moment. And then, oh, hang on, it is all gonna fit in that case and this, easily. Then I've got the dress I'm gonna wear for the wedding. There. Then I've got, that's actually not something I'm wearing. I don't know what that's doing here. Then I've got um, a second option in case something terrible happened. And then I've got this pink ensemble, which I really want to take, but I don't know if there's occasion to wear it. And I've got my pink jumpsuit from last night's trial. And then of all the things I sort of put out on the rail, by the way, did anyone know I got that coat? Um, this is my wardrobe of what I'm taking. So. It's not a huge, huge amount, and I hope it will all fit in that case. It's got to fit one side of that case because the rest of the stuff has got to go on the other side. So I've got this lovely long shirt dress that I bought from Liberties, I think, or Fennec ages ago. A really old Zara top, which I adore for the summer. My little silver thing I always wear every summer. I was nearly thinking, shall I not take this? Because I've taken it every summer, and maybe I could do something new, but I'm just not sure. The weather is going to be sort of, it could be warm, it could be a bit cooler. Um, I'm by a lake, there's a few thunderstorms. So I sort of thought in the evening, with that kind of weather, I'll take a Serena Butte in a sort of Eau de Neal, and then I got a Serena Butte in white. I sort of feel I only need one. So I'm going to actually, I always do curl, curl, and then curl again. I'm going to put that to here. But then the silver top, uh, silver skirt that I love, and I take it everywhere. That, in fact, because I'm taking that, I think I won't take the other one. Really old, lovely little, very thin, people talking about, do you have thin cotton? Really thin cotton that I'll wear. I was thinking, do I take a dressing gown? Actually, I'll just put that on in the morning, go and have downstairs and have breakfast. Very pretty, you haven't seen it yet, but I'm giving you first dibs, temp uh, Zimmerman white dress with pineapples on it, I just adore. Um, that dress I had last night, cotton, it's quite heavy, but I'm thinking that's okay. Then there's a blue one, which I loved, a white one I haven't shown you yet, my dress I always wear, two polka dot dresses, my white Alice Tempoli, a blue Essentials. Those two ones I wore in Mustique. Um, those trousers from Zara. So then when I look at this rail, I think to myself, okay, I know I've got sort of lunch and dinner every day. And so what I say to myself is, casual daytime looks, I've got these two trousers, but that's kind of, 
you know that sort of time between siesta and going out in the evening when you're sitting chatting downstairs and you don't want to get bitten by the mozzies that's what these trousers are for and if I want to go for a walk and it's too hot to wear a tight trainer uh, I'm, I'm in a tight jogging trouser I'd wear those that's my daytime walking around that's another one these could be daytime walking around dressed down um, or they could be evening but I'm going to say daytime this is evening so I got one evening two evening that's day or evening that's day or evening three evening day or evening, four evening, five evening. I'm there for seven nights, six evening and seven evening. So I've got my evening and then daytime I'll wear, you know, pareos and things like that. So it's kind of, I feel I'm together on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you, if I can swivel this around, very quickly show you a little bit of how I pack. I'm going to pack in five minutes, but I'm going to give you an idea of how I pack. Okay, so... Um, I'll always pack on the flat side of the case first. I'm not a roller. Some people roll things, and I think it's a phenomenal way to do it, but I'm a flat packer by nature, and I think I've always done it that way, and I'll always just think, what's the best way this could fold? So something like that, which is quite tricky, I'm gonna, because anything gathered can be tricky, so I'm gonna take it like that, and then I'm just gonna ignore that sleeve, it's rayon, so. This is one of the hardest things for me to pack, and I'm packing it first. I know beyond shadow of a doubt that I'm taking this skirt. I know that for a fact. Folding it in half like that, the length of the suitcase, and I go the opposite end of the other one because this one's doubling over, and I want to keep it flat all the time. My temperley dress, I want to keep that within lots of other clothes because that's a cotton one, and I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to just seen a mark on it, I can't believe it. Oh, it's got that yellowy. If somebody is watching and knows about that lovely fabric thing that makes things go white again, can you remind me of the name, please? Because I need it for this dress. This is a dress that I had copied from the dress of Tory Burch, and I love this. I nearly love it more than the original, but they're both gorgeous, and I was thinking, shall I just take one with me? I don't know. I'm going to take the blue one, Essentials. I haven't worn this on holiday yet, so that's an exciting one to wear on holiday. It's cut on the fire, so I'm going to put the middle of it in first, and then I'm just going to fold in the sides like that, and just bring it in. Um, now, oh, the pineapple dress from Zimmerman. Just such a, this is such a pretty dress. <gasps> Love this dress. I'd nearly be like, oh my God, I haven't something out of my suitcase. but. One's just got to trust the airline. I can't always trust the airline. I will put my most precious things, like, you know, stuff that I really could not ever, ever, ever have anything happen to uh, in my hand luggage. And that's why I usually take a hand luggage case with me. And in it, I'll put my jewelry, my, um, my electrics, actually, I'll put. Uh, those are things I always find tricky to find again and I'll put the dress I'm gonna wear for the wedding. I fold around the sides, so dress like this cut on the bias, I'll fold on the corners and pull them down so that I'm going to get a little bit of spare room on the right and left, and I might use that for shoes. These, these, me and I'm dresses are really great. I'm excited to wear them, I haven't worn them yet, I'll show you how I style them. Those of you who caught me last night can see briefly that I've got a lovely hat to wear with them. And I'm gonna do this one the other way around so that they match um, in the weight on the suitcase. Uh, what am I going to go to next? This is the way, I'm sure this is the way some of you cull as well. Because I feel, oh, you know, do I really want that now? It's my third culling moment. Um, so I'll put that like that. This is that white lace jacket. Great thing about this jacket, it just won't crease. Um, so that, I'm just sort of actually shoving it in. Um, the yellow trousers. Did any, how many of you bought the yellow the Zara trousers? It came in white and in cream and in black. And I've got to say, you know, sometimes you buy something at Zara. Lots of you ask me, you know, would you ever do another store? But I think the reason I do it, it's so universally available for people. I do so appreciate some ladies who are 16 and above and they just have tremendous frustration over the fact that, you know, Zara doesn't cater for a size. I mean, some things it just doesn't cater for a size 16. You know, because they say extra large and really like Chloe. Chloe's a 16 at the moment and some things are not fitting her. 
And when we do our sort of secret seven, I mean, when we do our, sorry, I'm getting mad, Friday twinning, I really feel frustrated, but we also love the fact it's a universal shop, because if we continue to do sort of Debenhams or Peter Jones, people who live abroad have no idea what those shops are. And um, about 60% of my followers don't live in England. So that's probably why I do Zara. And I love it as a shop, you know, I kind of shop there for, I shop there since it opened, because I shop there first in Spain. Um, and I just love it. I'm now thinking twice about this dress, but the color is beautiful and what the hell, it's going in, going in, going in. Okay, so I'm still all right. I've still got space on this side. So I've sort of said to myself, I'll take as many clothes as I can fit on this side, because the other side really has got to be for all those Trini London bags full of things. That's the only way I know I'll fit it in. And some of my shoes. Going in there. This one is an easy. This would have been a great roller dress, actually, that, because I can take that and gather it and just put it round the edges where I've got a bit more space. I'm thinking twice about this, but I think it's pretty, and I'm just imagining myself in the gardens of this house, waking up to see the sunrise and wafting. You know that wafting moment? We love a waft in our summer clothes, don't we? Don't we? Don't we love a waft in our summer clothes? There's that. So I think I could just take one of the Serena Buttes and I might just take the blue one actually. I've just thought to myself, I'm not going to take the other Serena Butte. This is enough and I love this colour for the summer. It's also a little bit softer. It's less restrictive than the white one so I think it works better for me. This dress which takes up a tremendous amount of room but I was wearing it today for lunch and my darling man said to me, oh that's so nice on you and then I thought, I can't not, well, I can't not take it because I love it when, you know, I think we love it when our, when our partners love us in something. I mean, I dress 99% for myself, but there are occasions when I think, actually, it's lovely that somebody, oh, hang on, I forgot the other ones. Oh dear, I've forgotten them. Oh, hold on. I've got my Studio 54, which I'm not going to forget. I'm very excited to wear this. This is my most risky outfit. You know when you have an outfit where you think, will that travel? It's not quite Lake Como, is it? It's more some mad country, but it's just, there's a gloriousness to it. I'm gonna fold it like that, and then fold it back, and then oh, shoot, fold it in on itself again, there, and let the sleeve settle. Let the sleeve settle, okay. I've got this wafting white dress as well. I take this with me every summer. I can't not take it. It's my lovely, like if we go on a boat and it's really warm, this is what I'd wear to cover up my bikini. It's from 120% linen. And they do do the most breathable, beautiful linens. They crease a bit, but not, they crease very softly. They're, they're very, very good linen. And then I'm thinking, am I going to take my mad pink one? And, you know, this is just such a mad idea, but I love this idea. And if I can, it's so inappropriate, like I don't need it for anything else, that jacket. That's when you shouldn't put something in, when you only need it for one thing. But, and it goes, and it goes, and it went, and it's gone. And that's because I've still got room this side. I've still got room. Do you feel you can identify with how I'm packing, everybody? Can you identify with this? Okay. Right, so this is the last bit of the clothes, apart from that French connection top. So I'm gonna just do that. I'm going to fold it and then I'm going to, it's just, this is now, I know this is going to have to be pressed when I get there because that was not a good folding, but it's all fit in one side. I can even take as a little last thing, the French connection top and I want to be casual. Oh, fantastic. Great. So then I zip up that side. In fact, before I zip it up, I think I can put a couple of pairs of shoes there. Oh, yes. Like in the corners, you know where there is more room than you think because the lining of the zip of the suitcase goes a little bit out. So I'm just gonna shove, shove is the word, shove those in there. Like that. And then shove the other side. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, that's it, that's 
done. And I'll close that because you know overnight one suitcase actually um, gets, you know, the clothes shrink and you can fit more in. It needs to settle. So, there. Look, only half the case. Only half the case used. And now I'm going to do the other side. The rail is empty. The things are off the wall. My hand luggage case has got my two dresses in it, some hangers and my bags and my jumpers and a few of my things that I can take through um, hand luggage. Like that, I will take through hand luggage and that should be fine. And then my suitcase has got everything in it. Shoes rather haphazardly done, all the clothes fit. Nothing left apart from a tripod, which I want to take and um, my two hats, which I mustn't forget, which I might have to just carry, and then extra chocolate and my teas. I'm just gonna just, actually, let's do that last minute thing. The chocolate is going inside the shoes. <gasps> what did I think of that earlier? Chocolate inside the shoes. They are quite clean, the shoes, and the chocolate is covered. There we go. Oh, it's the best chocolate in the entire world and it keeps me going. So, this is that big moment. Let's see if we can close the case. And I even want to just, just put the tripod in, what the hell, and see if it works. So, ready? <laughs> oh. Glory, glory, hallelujah! Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, I've got to close, I've got to find the zip. Oh, I see I can have an extension. By the way, this, for any of you who follow me from when I was doing America, this is my suitcase from Target. Do you remember when I had to buy the extra case because everything that we bought, this is actually the Target suitcase. Oh, there we go. There we go. And up. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's too heavy, but it definitely has fit everything. But if I just feel the weight of that. Oh, it's okay. Look. We. I say deceptively. I'm going to try and close up that extra. You know, I've got this extra bit here and I can't see where, I can't see where it opens. Hold on a second. Oh, God. oh it is open. Oh, I can make it bigger. Look, I can make the suitcase bigger. I can make the suitcase bigger. I can put more in. I can put more in if I want to. That's so great. Look, it just squeezes. So it just, okay. It's not closing now. I just, no, I can leave it there. Then, because I think I could put my extra hangers in, which I'll put, ah, oh, I'll put in Lila's case. Which, see, I think I'll put those extra hangers in here. More hangers, sorry. Because <laughs> otherwise Lila's gonna take all those hangers and um, use them for herself. You might think taking coals to Newcastle, taking hangers to a house, but I always feel when I stay in houses, there aren't enough hangers. Okay, so that's that's Maddie's. That's going out the door. Okay. This is now getting really boring for you, so I'm just going to actually stop the film. But just to say, there we are. I know it's a big suitcase for a week, but it is a wedding, and there's something I'm doing every night. So then I'll close this. Like that. There we go. And that's closed, fully closed. Hang on. Come on, come on, Case. I'm going to do it the other side. There. And then I got my hats. So the hats will have to go on my head, probably. Or I can carry them. I'll do something with the hat. We're done. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I will next be talking to you all from um, the joys of Lake Como. Uh, have a nice evening, ladies. Bye.